What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we're going to be taking a look at what's coming Monday. So obviously we are now into the countdown for eFootball 2025 or as it's going to be known, simply eFootball, right? So that's going to be coming mid-September. We're going to be getting the V4 update. All of this stuff's going to carry through. I have loads of videos done on everything that is going to be going on with eFootball or eFootball 2025. It's confusing, man, but we will get used to it, I suppose. Also, the objectives, the match pass, all of that will continue on until the new eFootball update launches, right? So, what is going to be coming Monday? Well, it's pretty much rinse and repeat. We will have brand new players. We will have brand new events. Obviously, they're always rinse and repeated. But most people are kind of wondering every Sunday or every Saturday evening what is going to be coming on the Monday because we do know that on the Monday we always get showtime cards, right? So, for example, with these English League midfielders, sometimes they double dip as we've seen here. So we got Spanish League attackers and J-League epics. We have got them along with the English League midfielders and a bit of an overlap there. And obviously this is the Monday content here that you see with only one day left, the timer recording. And then all of this was for obviously the Thursday content. Usually they dump a lot of stuff such as epics and showtimes or highlight cards, as well as you see here, the player of the weeks on the Monday or, the, or sorry, on the Thursday when there's a new season update. So that will kind of steady itself until eFootball 2025. Uh, I'd still call it eFootball 2025 anyway. So we'll go from there. Obviously, these are going to be ongoing as well. So this is your last chance to get Bale, Robson and Fletcher, which for a lot of people was a disappointing pack. Robson and Fletcher are just average. Bale is good, but he does require, I mean, I'm a big fan of Bale because I play out wide. Um, but he does require a lot of kind of training and stuff to get him where you want him to be. So it, it, it kind of was a disappointing pack, right? And also on top of that as well, when the databases are updated, you can usually tell what legends are going to be coming by the other players that are added. So you will see here, you always have a selection here that you'll see. For this one, it was an English League selection, which brings us on to this pack here, which is going to be the European Club Guardians. Shout out to Buddy J on Twitter for this mock-up. You've got Makalele, you've got Juan Sebastian Varane, Makalele is definitely going to be a popular choice, Varane as well, there will be a third player coming in this, some people are saying that it will be Julio Cesar, some people are saying that it will be other um, players as well, it could be a couple of different players, but it definitely looks like Makalele and Varane will both be coming, and then that's also going to be coming with this selection here, which is going to be Guardians, so you're going to have DMFs, left back, right back, and a goalkeeper, usually when you have a goalkeeper in this selection here, there will be a goalkeeper epic guardian. So it just depends. It depends on what um, they bring. I do feel like Varane will be good, but I don't think that he's going to be meta meta. Makalele will definitely be, be meta. Will he dislodge Rijkaard or Vieira if you have them in midfield? I mean, I still personally think Makalele is probably the best DMF in the game that's not named Rijkaard or Vieira. <laughs> and uh, even at that, I mean, he does push Vieira a lot of the way. I mean, I would probably prefer... Rijkaard as a DMF, um, and then Makalele beside him, you know, if you could fit all three in, it would be great, but I mean, the game is so interception heavy at the moment, it's, it's it would be a joke to have Makalele, Vieira, and Rijkaard, but Varane is going to be a brand new legend, he hasn't been in the eFootball series before, let me know if you're hyped for that, or if you're just going to be waiting for the brand new update, which would be eFootball v4.0, or eFootball 2025, we've got a lot of stuff to get through by then, but it's going to be rinse and repeat until then. So let me know if you guys are excited for this European Club Guardians with that as a selection. Or let me know if it's going to be another skip. I will be back. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll be back streaming Monday. Peace.